favorite girl, and if I'm not, I should be. <laughs> it's Melanin Glam here, and I just wanted to do, um, sorry, the camera's shaky. I'm sorry, I'm actually holding it. Um, I just want to do just a really, this is going to be like, I, I want to come out with a series of like just short like videos that I do. Nothing like too extensive. It's not going to be the hair and makeup stuff, but just little short tidbit um, videos. So that's what this video is going to be about. I want to show you guys how I make my perfect cup of tea. I love it, and I think you will too. And also, it's like super healthy. So that's really why I wanted to show you guys this tea. tea. I really think you guys will too. And if you want to see how I make my perfecto hot tea, just stay tuned and keep watching. The curtain hit me. <laughs> hey you guys, so to start off with, these are the products that I use to make my super fantabulous cup of hot tea. I have the um, Celestial Seasonings, um, <laughs> did you hear me stutter? <laughs> the Celestial Seasonings Lemon Zinger. This is my favorite for um, during the day, but when I make this tea like at night, um, I have like four or five boxes of their tea. I just use a different one. They have like Tension Tamer and then like some nighttime teas that have chamomile in it that... Um, they're just so much better, and this is kind of a healthy video, so I'm just going to show you guys the nutrition facts. One tea bag has zero calories, zero sodium, and zero sugars. Winning! I didn't mean to throw that down. <laughs> so, next, in my tea, I use um, one little packet of Splenda. I'm in love with this stuff, you guys. I haven't gotten to the point to where I can just like drink it straight yet but one thing of Splenda, one little packet of Splenda has one gram of fiber per packet so that is awesome too and I just wanted, it comes with like recipes and all that, um, try not to spill it here, just wanted to show you guys the nutrition facts on this, one packet has zero calories, zero sodium and where are sugars, I know it has sugars in it. Uh, Okay, I don't see any of the sugars, unless you guys can see it. I don't see it. Anyway, but it, um, yeah, it's a no-calorie sweetener. I love it. This is great stuff, you guys. Every time I use sugar, I replace it with this, and you cannot tell the difference at all. I use one teaspoon of honey. Just, really, you don't need it, because the um, Splenda packet will give you the sweetness, but it's just kind of a habit with me now. It just doesn't taste right without it. So, one teaspoon of honey. Speaking of, side note, you guys, I went to the store to get this. Honey has gotten so expensive. Like, honey, these are some pedigreed bees or something because I was like, dang. Okay, and last. I've already showed you guys. <laughs> last, this is the last thing I do. This stuff is amazing. I put one teaspoon of um, organic refined coconut oil in every cup of tea I make. And I swear it gives you like a natural boost. Um, it's healthy for you. This is the brand I use. Hopefully it will lighten up. I don't think it will. Um, it's called Amagio. And... Um, this stuff is amazing, you guys. I got this at Sam, I, Sam's, uh, which is like a the big version of Walmart. Let's start this amazing cup of tea. So I have my Keurig that I am in love with. The boyfriend got this for me. Um, and I like it so much that he got me one for home and one for, um, for my job in my office. So here we go. So the first thing, I've already added my water and stuff to the Keurig because those of you all that have Keurigs knows that it takes a little bit of time to start heating up and I wanted to avoid it in this video. So what I'm going to do is just, um, oh I didn't know I had an old coffee thing in there. I made coffee this morning. So I'm going to take that out and then I am just going to press this middle button just so I can have water coming. Oh, look at that. That warm goodness. Okay, 
So while it's doing that, I'm going to take one of my tea bags. These come with no strings, so it's really cool. And I'm just going to put it right in there. And just let it start doing all that tea goodness that it does that I love so well. You guys, I am hyper as hell in this video. I'm sorry. <laughs> Got me um, the little Keurig tray thing that goes under it because my things were everywhere and I absolutely love this. You can pull it out. It has like it goes all the way back. I just fill it up with the different um, like little cups I have right now. Let me think what I have in here. I have green tea at work. That's usually where I drink my green tea. I do have some here though. I have Seattle's Best. This has um, hazelnut. This is the bomb you guys. I love this. I have Donut Shop coffee, um, donut shop decaf, and the Snapple peach tea. So anyway, just a little assortment. We like Keurigs here. Guys, okay, so look at that golden color. Got to love that. So the first thing I'm going to do is fish out my tea bag. And I'm just kind of pressing it up against the side to get any more of that deliciousness that's in there actually do it. So first I'm just going to go in with my coconut oil. I put this in first, just my own thing. I really don't know why, but I just feel like since the coffee is hotter, it'll melt it. So, oops, I just put that in there. And then I just kind of move it around and start letting it melt and be all delicious and healthy and energizing. Okay, next. I go in with my honey that I showed you guys and I just put one teaspoon in there Okay, and the last thing I do is go in with my little Splenda, and I put one packet in there. I'm making a YouTube video. <laughs> You're not on, on thing. It's just filming my cup. And that's it, you guys. So, once again, thank you for watching. This is just going to be a delicious cup of tea, how I make it. Okay, dolls, so I hope you guys enjoyed how I made my tea. Now, remember when you're drinking this, it does have a slight, what's the word? Um, it doesn't have a bad taste. It just feels um, not oily. I can't really describe it. There, You did put coconut oil into it, but before you say like, ew, I can't drink it, that's gross, just try it because it really doesn't mess with the integrity of the tea. It tastes fantastic, and it is good for you, and it gives you a dose of energy. I do this every time I have tea, so maybe I should skip a couple of cups, because I am just, like, bouncing off the walls right now. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I appreciate it. If you want to know how I got this little slick bun, go back through my videos. I have a tutorial for it. And I will see you guys soon. Don't forget to follow me on, um, where can you follow me? Instagram and Facebook at Melanin Glam. Um, let's see. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later.